Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here, and I've got some NCAA 13 coming your way here with the MAC Conference Championship. Now this was supposed to go up yesterday. I don't know why, but it seems like YouTube keeps rejecting some of my files that I tried to upload to their server, but whatever. I think I found a workaround for it here. Uh, that's for another video. Let's go ahead and get to this game here. Like I said, MAC Championship. We got Northern Illinois and Kent State squaring off with each other. This is going to be fun because I'm not familiar with either one of these teams. You guys who have watched my videos with NCAA know that I'm primarily playing as Nebraska. And then I got my coaching Carousel 2, which I play as Ohio. So I'm going to be going ahead and getting used to these teams a little bit more as I you know, go through uh, my schedule there. Well, I can't forget Teddy Crocker playing for Georgia here, but... Um, Kent State is the underdog in this one. This was uh, the reason why I decided to go with them. Kind of give myself a little bit of a challenge in this one. But as we start off here, I see defensively I'm going to be having some struggles. Again, something that I'm expecting when you got a team that you're not familiar with and you are the underdog. So Northern Illinois is really getting a good, a good chance right now to be able to score early, to build some momentum. And now we're starting to go ahead and uh, turn things around here. And we're trying to stop Northern Illinois. We're doing a great job here, but Brown goes ahead, gets the reception and the first down. So when I was starting to think things were going well for me, not the case. Wells getting a big uh, pickup right there. All right, so Lynch back in the pocket, able to get it to Johnson with a lot of green in front of him. And he is going to make it into the end zone just the way that I tackled him. He didn't touch the ground until uh, he had rolled over me and had gotten in the end zone. So it counts. The points are going to go to them, and that's okay. I'm not going to argue about that here at all. But 7 to nothing now. So I'm going to have to come back here pretty quick. Going with the pass to my halfback. And I'm able to get the first down a little bit more here too. So we're going to try to see if we can establish a good running game. I can tell that with Durham, I don't necessarily have speed. But when I'm going up against a team like Northern Illinois, that's okay because... When you go up against teams that are like A-plus and that, I mean, any uh, potential openings that you're going to find here to be able to run through, those close up pretty quickly. With Northern Illinois, not so much the case. So that's all right that Durham isn't necessarily the fastest because my offensive line can go ahead and hold him. Oh, my gosh, man, you could have had a touchdown right there. So fourth and seven instead of what should have been me kicking it off here. I got to settle for a field goal. I'm okay with that, though. 7-3 with 3 minutes and 41 seconds left in the first quarter. So the Golden Flashes definitely showing that they're going to be able to put some points on the board. Wow, great interception by Dooley who gets into the end zone. So here I was down 7 to nothing just a little bit ago, and now I am up 10-7. to seven. So that three-point lead is going to be big for me. i got to build upon it here. But basically what happened right here is I just got a free seven points, and now... Northern Illinois has got to go ahead and uh, now try and put something together. So that kind of destroys his Lynch's confidence as he's going ahead and overthrowing his wide receiver by a whole bunch right there. There wasn't even that much pressure on him. I guess we, we have gotten to him. Durham running, picking up eight yards. Not a big surprise because the consistency on the run here in the first quarter has been great. But Durham's got to come out. I do bring in my backup halfback who is pretty fast. So I've got a pretty good balance right here depending on who's in. But with this one, decent pickup of six yards. I was kind of hoping, though, that those lead blockers would have done a little bit of a better job. Kind of getting a lot of time here, but I do take too much time. So I'm looking at third and 12 after that sack. I was waiting for something to develop downfield, trying to go for a deep, deep pass. Didn't end up working right there, and I get sacked again. So now it's fourth and 20. Of course, I'm going to have to go ahead and punt. And give it back to Northern Illinois here. 49 seconds left in the first quarter here. Lynch with lots of time. Kind of moving and throwing off balance. Not able to make it there on third down. So very quickly we see two drives that have not gone the way that uh, the offense has wanted. And I get sacked again. What is up with this? I was not expecting Northern Illinois to go ahead and be blitzing as much as they are and put as much pressure uh, on my quarterback. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. It's like I have no offensive line, and I've gotten like four sacks in the last four plays. Heck, if I was the quarterback, I'd be yelling at him too. I don't blame him, but welcome to the second quarter, guys. Going deep. Man, that was a bad, bad throw. 
They're going to get great field position on this one at about the 24, 25 yard line. Sure, I did get the big hit on there, but I would have rather have gone ahead and got it a completed pass and an interception right there. Ah, oh, what was I thinking? After playing this game as much as I have, though, uh, in these last few days, I think I'm just overconfident. That's what it is. But uh, that one gets caught. We're looking at first and goal, of course, as it's uh, at the nine-yard line here. Lynch looking over to the right side to go to Brown, and they do get the touchdown. So Northern Illinois now goes ahead and gets the lead back off of my mistake here, and I really do pay the price. I've noticed, too, in this game, uh, if you go ahead and you turn the ball over, you're in trouble. Like, a lot of times the computer does a lot to be able to come back here and, and find ways to make you pay, usually by getting points on the board. And that flea flicker didn't work at all. Trying to go with a, a trick play here. And I'm lucky that one didn't get intercepted as that went right into his hands. All right, though, second and ten now here for Northern Illinois. Great run to be able to get them the first down, and now second and nine after a one-yard pickup on a run. Going over to the receiver, or the tight end, excuse me. Able to go ahead and get that catch. So, again, first and ten. More to the 15. So, very consistent work out of Northern Illinois here. Daniels just bobbing and weaving and getting into the end zone here to put 21 points on the board here as the total for Northern Illinois here in the game so far. So Kent State, I've got to change gears here a little bit. i got to find something to work that works here uh, on defense. I think i got something on offense, but i just got to make sure I keep it consistent, and that is with Durham running the ball here. There we go, getting the first down. He is averaging about six yards every time that he gets a hold of the ball, which is great. That's definitely what you want to see as a halfback because then really you can just keep going with it as, as long as he uh, keeps sticking with his average. And you'll be consistently getting first downs. But that one obviously a lot more than six yards on that run. So going up, making the reception for nine yards, third and one. We're going to go with another running play here to Durham who finds the opening and gets the first down. So we're working our way there a minute and 35 seconds now as we pick up six. So we're going to go with the passing play right here since I figure that's what they're not going to be expecting. Make the catch and get the touchdown. So we still don't have the lead quite yet. 17 points on the board is definitely getting me there as it's only going to be a four-point difference once I go ahead and kick the extra point. So a touchdown will give me that three-point lead. I can't remember. Did I go ahead? Did I kick or receive at the beginning? Oh, well, we're going to find out here in just a little bit. A minute and four seconds left. So Lynch, oh, my gosh, another interception here. That's going to allow me to have it at about the 25-yard line with 59 seconds left. Absolutely, I can go 25 yards in 59 seconds. Very, very worse here. I got to go ahead and just kick a field goal. Actually, I take that back. Very, very worse is not kicking a field goal. That would be like going ahead, turning the ball over, and getting a pick six. But great reception, getting us within the 10-yard line, first and goal. Now with the run, Durham using number 61 as a lead blocker here. Works perfectly, and he gets into the end zone here. So now we do have the lead. That really took me just a couple plays to be able to come back and get that one. Look at that, 51 seconds. Right on. It's frozen Xbox right there, too. So we're going to go ahead and hit the half now since not too much happens. 24 to 21. So Northern Illinois showing that they are, in some respects, the better team. If it wasn't for that touchdown that I got here with that interception earlier, we would be looking at me being down by four points. So I am taking advantage of the mistakes of the computer as well, which is kind of nice to be able to say that because I really... Don't get a chance to be able to say it too often. A lot of times I'll actually go ahead and intercept the ball. And then the next thing I know, um, I go ahead and throw an interception myself. And we're just back at square one. But Durham getting it downfield this time four. You can see his average is not uh, where I would like it to be here in the second half. But you figure they would already know. What a great move, though, to be able to get me to the one yard line I thought I was going to be able to make it over into the end zone I mean when you saw that touchdown that he had earlier I figured if the computer would give that one to him uh, you go ahead and 
Give that one to me, but Durham finishing it off here and getting us that touchdown. So the lead is now expanding all the more. Kent State showing how it's done. 31-21, this 10-point lead. It's going to be big for me. Daniels picking up four yards, third and six now. Lynch having a, a chance to pass. Going over to the left, overthrows the wide receiver once again. Making it, they're going to have to go ahead and punt. And I get a chance to see if I can put this game out of reach. Because right now, I mean, you take a look, a 10-point lead is something the computer can easily overcome. But since that was third down and I wasn't able to complete it, I do have to go ahead and punt. So here comes the computer again. Not getting anything done as they attempt the option. So third and 15 now after that. And Lynch, of course, has to pass. That's the only thing that can be done. A deep, deep, deep throw. Yeah, I said that three times. Deep, deep, deep. Did I say it four? Deep, 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 deep. Whatever. It was a deep pass. All right. So I get a decent return on this one here. Keith going back. Throwing deep. And there we go. We're able to get the catch here and get the touchdown on one big play. I've been working on throwing it down the side of the field here uh, for some distance. And it really pays off right here as I saw the potential just right from when the wide receiver got up to the line of scrimmage and saw what type of opposition he was going to be facing. I knew I could go ahead and exploit that mismatch on that side and just lob it up and it works. All right. And then we go ahead and we stop them on their next drive. So two minutes and 21 seconds. It is 38-21 as you can see at the bottom of the screen. 17 points. It's going to be tough for the computer to come back with here, but it is definitely doable. So I'm not going to put it past the computer here at all. Minute 35 in the third quarter. Handing it off to Durham. There we go. Liking to be able to see these pickups uh, continue on in the second half. So there we go. Even more than the first down. That's another positive thing. Computer, you can see you're putting more people in the box to try and counter my ability to run. Still able to get four yards, which in the end is definitely fine. I'd be happy to maintain that average. But look at those moves here to get me into the end zone here to make it 45 points for Kent State to Northern Illinois' 21. That was a big touchdown right there. Those are some great moves, too, out of Durham, which is not what I was expecting because, like I said, he's not the fastest. But sometimes that actually works out in this game because I think that if your guy doesn't necessarily run as fast, some, some uh, halfbacks, you can turn on a dime a lot easier. Juke a little bit better, but oh well. Thing is, I got the touchdown. So second and 11 here. Trying to go with the halfback screen, and it does work actually this time with a seven-yard pickup right there as I was just chasing him. Hoping I could stop him, but I couldn't. All right, fourth quarter, you guys. Having a lot of time. Still not able to connect with the wide receiver. So first and 10 now for Kent State. The first drive of the fourth quarter for us here starts off with that eight-yard pickup on the ground. Running game has been what has allowed me to be able to maintain this lead, even though right here it's fourth and inches as I wasn't even able to pick up that one yard that I needed. All right, Lynch trying to scramble here. This is why I go ahead and keep the spy in, but computer doing a great job to maximize the amount of yards they'd pick up right there. Second and three. Going over to the left side, another screen. Gets across the line of scrimmage, so that's a first down here as well. Now, you will see, though, that Northern Illinois is going to be going with a hurry-up style offense. This has been something they've been doing for most of the game. But if I get the interception, like right here, and I'm on the field, you better believe I'm not going to be going with that hurry-up offense. On the contrary, I'm going to go ahead and try to run out as much of the clock as I can. So, big play. I think this goes ahead, and it puts the game out of reach for the computer. Probably was out of reach a long time ago. One thing I've noticed, though, is the first uh, first quarter was all Northern Illinois. Second, or, uh, sorry, first half was all Northern Illinois. Second half has been all Kent State. So, good thing, though, I was able to contribute in the first quarter here. In the first half. Wow, why do I keep saying that? Oh, well, first half. I was able to contribute and put some points on the board, keep it close. But... They haven't been able to do that. And here we go, adding insult to injury with a safety. So going back, I was only rushing with a few people, and I went ahead and actually veered off because I saw it was a screen pass, and I wanted to make sure I did everything I can to get over that halfback. So here we got great field position now. Durham 
running the ball. Letting time continue to run down. Gosh, a safety. All right. We've only got a few more plays here. And then the game is going to be done and over with here. So we're just going to go ahead and let it go now since really all that happens is time runs out. So a big win here for Kent State, who are the champions of the MAC Conference, 47-21. to A lot of points scored in this game, but that's okay. It was honestly a lot of fun. Yeah, that safety would be play of the game. So again, you guys, sorry this didn't go up yesterday, but I'm going to make sure it does go up today. And you'll be able to see all of the conference championship games here as well. It took me a lot of time to do it, so I'd hope you guys would drop by and be able to watch those ones here as they come out periodically throughout the day. Uh, again, you guys, thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great stuff. All you got to do is check the description below. But again, you are phenomenal people. Do not ever forget that. And as always, 